Hi, my name's Kelly, and we're here to talk about books and cats, mostly cats today. When I was seven, my mom got me a cat. We'd always had cats, but this was my cat. We were on the way home from dropping my sister off, and we stopped at a pet store. And my mom said, we're just looking. We're not getting a cat. And I said, okay. When we went inside, we found this tiny, fluffy, gray and white kitten. And when they took him out of the cage so I could play with him, he was all over me. Next thing I know, they're putting him in a box and we're taking him home. I named him Willie after my mom's childhood cat, but eventually he just came to be known as Bilbo. I had Billy for 14 years. He was my best friend. He followed me everywhere. He slept with me at night. He didn't really like anyone else touching him. It wasn't until I went to college that he really got affectionate with my parents. He was my most constant friend. He was there as I fell in and out of love. He was there through heartbreak. He was there as I made friends and lost them. I loved him more than I've loved most people. A few years ago, Billy got sick. Really sick. Really fast. By the time I knew how sick he was, it was too late. The last time I brought him to the vet was one of the hardest days of my life. It was one of the hardest decisions I've ever had to make. I never thought I would love another cat the way that I loved Bilbo. I never thought I would have another cat who loved me like he did, who would follow me around and sleep with me at night and try to climb on my laptop while I'm writing. Then, two years ago, I started dating this guy, and he asked me if I wanted to come adopt a cat with him. Well, of course I did. So we went to a couple pet stores, and eventually we met Minion. He was a big, fluffy boy who wanted our cuddles and our scratches the moment he met us. A couple months later, I moved in with that guy, and Minion became my cat too. Minion proved me wrong. He proved to me that I could really love another cat again. He proved to me that another cat could really love me. That another cat would follow me around, would sit outside the bathroom every time I go in there, would be under my feet in the kitchen. He brought me the kind of companionship I had so desperately been missing since I lost my Billy. About a year later, we got Taco. And Taco is, if anything, even more codependent and needy than Minion. It can be difficult for people who don't love cats to understand the way that we cat lovers feel about our furry friends. It can be hard for them to see the ways that cats love, the ways that cats show us they care. But for those of us who do love cats, we know. We know what their companionship can mean. We know how special it is when a cat chooses you to be their person. The Traveling Cat Chronicles is a book about that relationship, about the relationship between a cat and his pal. It's a slow, quiet story told mostly from the perspective of the cat that feels a lot like watching a Ghibli movie. And I'm not just saying that because it references my neighbor Totoro. The author, whose name escapes me at the moment because I don't know how to script a video, clearly understands profoundly the relationship that can exist between a cat and a person, the respect and affection that can exist in these most special of friendships. As Hachi and his human Satoru take their road trip around Japan, we get to see the sometimes ridiculous lengths that cat people will go to to be with their cats and to make sure that they're looked after. I'm not really sure what else to say about this book. It's quiet, atmospheric, picturesque, but mostly it's just something that every cat lover should get their hands on. I'm an easy crier. I cry at books, I cry at movies, I cry at everything. But still, this book made me cry like a book has not made me cry in a very long time. So that's it, that's the review. I sort of wish I had something more profound to say about it, but really, all I want to say is, if you love cats, you'll love this book, and if you love cats, 
go give the cat you love an extra scratch. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, I guess.